Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to the Great Night Pre-Show. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator. It is August 3rd, 2021. Who the fuck let it be August? Remember that? Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us here. A new month, new uh, phone. Who dis? Uh, this is nothing. Hello, everybody. We're going to get started with the uh, the Great Night Pre-Show, including the green room here in just a moment. A couple of things up top. We've got a great show for you. we got some really good stories. We've got uh, a game from one Nick Howell. That'll be pretty cool. And then um, uh, 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 we've got, uh, we're going to have some other great stuff coming up. I don't even want to spoil it. I don't even want to spoil it. I don't even want to spoil it. Um, a couple of other little things you might notice that the pre-show, that the green room is going to sound a lot better. Frankly, it's going to sound a lot better. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm very superstitious on set and I think, I think I completely blindly walked into that one. Mm, it's going to be a good time. Uh, so that's coming up. I'll talk about that. I don't know if I, where I can, where I can talk about that, uh, where the best place to talk about that is maybe, maybe after we do the green room, I'll explain a little bit about, uh, what we changed and some of the difficulties and, uh, hopefully some of the, uh, the, <laughs> the positives are getting a lot of people very angry that the room is not green is not actually green. Well, sorry about it. Sorry about it. The monkey says, will the green room get a coffee or beer table? I think there is space for a coffee table in there. I think that could, I think that could happen. So, uh, yeah, so that's coming up. We're going to have a great show, everybody. Thank you so much for spending uh, some of your Friday. No, it's Tuesday. It's, it's, it's the damn, it's damn Tuesday. All right, we're going to send it over to the green room. Fellas in the green room, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, 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 we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you, uh, Bryce Castillo. Very cool. Well, uh, uh, enjoy your green room. I'll be there in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude. Well, yeah. Uh, man, man, what, what's up with this Olympics? Why? Okay, I'll tell you this. I'll much. say it. Why? No, 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 no. Yeah, let's talk about the real stuff from the Olympics. All right. Sure. Number okay. one, I ain't never seen more ping pong in an Olympics ever than this year. Explain. Now, is it only because you became obsessed with ping pong yes, recently? Yes, probably, but also... Are you seeking ping pong out? No, no, no. Okay, okay. When I say summer games, summer Olympic games, what do you think of? You have people throwing hammers Running. and shot putting, and putting the shots sure. and the javelins. Jumping over. And yeah. then the hurdles and, and the, yes. the running and the... And, and, and some the, swimming. Uh, and some swimming. Some I, synchronized, I, 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 the synchronized legs. Uh... Yeah, we did see some synchronized swimming see, and backspin yesterday, which which uh, kind of made me uncomfortable. The, uncomfortable? Well, I mean, like racially, it was very, racially. Yeah, well, I mean, there it, were Japanese women doing the robot. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, they they fantastic. The two Japanese uh, <laughs> it, uh, right, water okay, dancers. So here's were here's doing the, the question: robot. if yeah. if an American team had done their duo. Uh, thing as as robot would it be perceived as uh, disrespectful to Japan the home of giant robots oh that it was happening in Japan right no because okay. they embrace that shit so why well oh wait hold on okay. you, 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 sorry you, you, what you, what if you, they you, were you also made, you made a fundamental miscalculation in thinking that we were assuming that people calling them racist would be Japanese. <laughs> That's true. Right. So would they get canceled on Twitter by non-Japanese people for doing the robot in Japan? Everybody gets canceled for everything at one point or another, and it means nothing. Okay. Oh, okay. What if they were doing okay, the robot? Hitler, keep going. You know and what? They, were, they were pointing <laughs> at their eyes very closely. So okay. closely they were touching their eyes. Okay. Now there's that's a problem. Wait, why? They're just pointing out that they have human eyes and they're doing the robot. All right. How do you do, how do you do that and the robot? Well, I uh, uh, <laughs> nice did you did nice you try, show Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna, gonna say. I was just asking. <laughs> how this does is, this is all of us trying to set a trap for the other one? This does, is spy right. versus spy. All right, right, Hitler. How does that happen? I was just curious. <laughs> um, I was just curious. Uh, no, the uh, the Romanian uh, couple had like uh, some crazy like 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 dark goth energy in sure. was that the spider one yeah yeah they're they did like, like spider stuff and like like like, like, like they came up 
from the water, and one of them was like, bleh, and the other one was like, yeah. Um, this is a great audio bit for everybody. No, no, no. Imagine the back spider legs and then the front spider legs. Uh, bleh. Yeah. Bleh. But they were smiling because they were synchronized swimmers. Right. Yeah. So then it was weird, it was, but good. But they had, I mean, they had half the amount of eyes. But they were still, yeah. Okay. It looked great. Can, can I pitch something? Um, something? It's, pitch it's it. It's House MD, except for Dracula is running a veterans hospital. And he's really good at it. He's like Hawkeye from uh, MASH. I gotta okay. tell you. Everybody loves him. Yeah. yeah. He does occasionally, you know. Kill someone? No, uh, he has a blood martini here and again. Sure. But mainly, just everybody loves him. He works the night shift. So wait, hold on. Wait, uh, He's I, really I, good I, at I, his I, job. I, I, I hate to dig into the lore yeah. already, but yeah. like, is it... Like a blood martini, like he's drawing blood and then sipping it, or is oh, he taking no, no, no. it from the he's, neck? He's he's got his secret still, of 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 of, and by still I mean a refrigerator in his office. Okay, and, and I mean, he's but he's still, he's skimming a little off the top, but everybody loves him. He's yeah. hilarious, okay. Dracula. Uh, and yeah. by and the way, uh, online it's already been said it should be Doctor Doctor Acula. Yeah, Doctor Doctor Acula. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Doctor Acula is running yeah. the the hospital. Everybody loves. Also, him. apparently Scrubs did it. Yeah, Scrubs did it. God damn it! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I even try? No, it's fine. fine. No, no, Fuck no. Zach Braff. Let's let. Uh, let's go Zach back to Braff's the, not uh, here. Yeah. Uh, 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 the the dude who made Ted Lasso's not here. You go ahead. You <laughs> give me your Doctor Acula. I mean, they remade Suicide Squad within five years. We can do Doctor Acula. Yes. Uh, okay, Doctor Acula. I can't believe nobody's taken the name Doctor Acula. I mean, Scrubs did, but let's move okay. on. Uh, no, yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't. Now no, that you know, we got, we got it. We got it. Move forward. Move forward. It was just very bad for you to say exactly the one thing you couldn't. Yeah. Go. Um, Dr. Acula. Hilarious doctor. He's in Transylvania. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Should I hum the mash uh, thing? Uh, 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 hold on. So, um, <laughs> one, of his, one of his ER patients flatlines, and he can't help it. He's so in love with her that he makes her a Frankenstein, and she becomes a nurse. And okay. Then, uh, 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 so, uh, a horse Frankenstein? Uh Sorry? I thought you said it was a horse. It no, wasn't a horse? No, there, there's Maybe a Maybe I woman. just heard it as I a horse. I said woman, and uh, I guess we all hear well, what we That reveals some troubling things about me now, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. So, nice going, Hitler. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, 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 meanwhile, um, I don't know how you get the mummy in you there. You either keep fighting the Hitler oh, no, 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 or see like, yourself I, 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 become somebody, one. Somebody from the burn ward is like, well, they said I have to be here for six more months, uh, uh, but I can't go out unless I'm protectively wrapped. Uh, so sure. I'm a normal human from a burn ward covered in toilet paper. But you're a mummy. It's, it, well, I mean, I didn't say it. That's, well, yeah, because of the their gauze, I, our current, you can't hear what I say all the time. So when I'm covered up, it's more like... That's pretty good. Okay, gotcha. all right, all right. Let me uh, get a pack. All right, wait, sorry. Uh, uh, alt pitch. Yep. Uh, maybe this is like the brother of the character. Yep. Dressed up just for support, but just keeps getting hit in the balls. Okay. And it's just like, oh! Maybe, maybe that dude is like the brother of Dr. Acula, uh, uh, but, but he's very uh, furry and does a lot of cocaine. And we never ever imply plays that really he's good th basketball. The <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he's just awesome and a little yeah. bit hairier than you would expect. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he looks like Jason Bateman. Yes. Yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, or you know, it, uh, it, but then one day he meets uh, what's his name from Back to the Future? Uh, uh, my, uh, Marty Michael McFly. J. Fox. Yeah, Marty McFly. Yeah. Wait, the character or the guy? <laughs> oh, actually, that's even better. Marty McFly. It turns out hasn't discovered that he's also Teen Wolf yet. Yeah. Yes. But and there he is. All right. Also there. It's he is. multiverse. This is, uh, yes. Look, there oh, he is. God damn. Right. Multiverse. This Corey's Jason cameo. Bateman is in one and and. Uh, and Marty is in the other. Did did you have a strong opinion in literally any direction about Teen Wolf? I was like, well, that was a thing. All right. I mean, I thought it was pretty. It was okay. I, I liked his dad. I thought his dad was hilarious. Uh, that one moment where the door opens and he says, uh, he says, Bryce! son, we have to talk. Yeah, it's pretty great. Son, we have to talk. Bryce, have you ever seen Teen Wolf? The MTV show? Yeah. 
Uh oh. <laughs> God damn it. Uh -oh. The fuck just happened. We joke uh -oh. both became old and dusty. Years go by. <laughs> and guess what? Old movies are made in into the television the shows. <laughs> Brian hasn't seen one, but Bryce has seen Little it and he makes him feel old. Howling at the moon. Uh, yeah, I've seen it. It's a lot of hot guys on that show. Yeah, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of man meat, yeah. Brian. Scott, a lot of hunks. Styles, Darren, yeah. yep. Peter. A lot of, yep. a lot of biceps. This is, this is the sound of me guy transforming who's the guy back into a human. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were talking about the original movies. Oh, it was a movie. Yeah, the original movie. Yeah, the, the original, the this, original this, this, movie. Oh my God. Train pulls into station. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not seen the movie. Uh, ooh, that might be a fun experience. This motherfucker ain't never seen Back to the Future. We haven't forced him to do that yet. Yeah. Should watch them both at the same time. Just oh, one eye, like, see if they eye synchronize each. up, in, like like with Dark Side of the Moon we do and, it in VR. Uh, and, oh. and and the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, we'll do it in VR. Can I tell you something about Team Wolf, the yeah. movie? I ain't never seen it. What? Oh, well, there you go. Wow. No. Not where's, where's, that where's, again. where's all the screaming now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, but I haven't watched your jerk off show either. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you mean any show on MTV? <laughs> yes. <laughs> also. <laughs> exactly. It's either a pregnant teenager or mm. a, 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 a or dude. Or a teen drama. Yeah, or, yeah, or an 18 year old who coaches at Equinox. <laughs> uh, so, okay. I guess, I guess if Is we're going to pick. Is the Teen Wolf movie good? The uh, first one is. The second yeah, right? one's horrible. Uh, the second one was, or the first one was quite adorable. Yeah, it was I good. Troubling was. allegory. What do you but mean? it's a comedy. A teen Wolf. It is what straight you, up uh, comedy. Oh, really? Wolf are, 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 you, are you aware uh, yeah. of the, 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 the popular right. uh, yeah. uh, commentary mm. on it? No. A troubling allegory of the fetishization of the black man. Okay, that mm. sounds like somebody who did not read Adventures of a Teenage Werewolf, the young adult fiction novel that I had read four years before that movie came out and that the movie was clearly just a straight up rip off of, uh, which was rad. So there, <laughs> yeah, I, you described I just, it to a completely different that book that got adapted, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, wait, it, was it actually adapted from it? Uh, I never found out. Uh, I, I I remember like, like right, reading chat, one Wikipedia at age 12 this. and then seeing one at age 16 and thinking, uh, that that would be a hell of a coincidence if these were independent projects and no money exchange hands hmm. in the background. Said skeptical young teenager Brian Brushwood, <laughs> pre-internet. Like, I'm going to bring all of Hollywood down <laughs> with this like, idea. Okay, he's like, well, like, I feel all right, like we know about Boston. We also heard about New York. The White House. <laughs> Wait, what like, like, well, I've, I feel like I've solved this case. Now let me throw this fact into the back of my brain, surely to be picked up at the perfect time. <laughs> but there, there are other similar um, uh, parallels in, in other horror, a uh, horror uh, I don't know, deconstruction, right? Like kind of the idea of like zombies being allegories for kind of the unwashed consumer. lower classes or the consumer, right? right. Well, that or was really Romero. Romero, yeah. Romero, really was the one who, who who pushed the like zombies as consumers. Consumers, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Been to that mall? Oh, have you in Pittsburgh? In Pittsburgh, yeah. right? Yeah. Zombie yeah. mall? Yeah. Because the original Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, I mean. Dawn of the Dead yeah. takes place at this mall in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and it's, they all get trapped in the the mall, and mm. it's all about consume, 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 mm. and they have to fight. What about? Uh, I would. I, I wonder what. Number one, whether you've seen it. Number two, what you would think of mm -hmm. the Blues Brothers. I I probably seen. Seconds, if not minutes, of it on you Comedy Central dance? over the years. Uh, uh, oh man! Ba -ba 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 -ba. I mean, I know the song. We're gonna need someone to bark. Yeah. Yeah, I got nothing on the dance. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blues Brothers. What do you think? If you were gonna give it a one out of ten? Yeah, my my official review on the Blues Brothers film is gonna be. Can I get a drum roll, drum roll, please, yeah. for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> An eight. Okay, Hitler. Uh, <laughs> it's, what, it's why you put up one finger. <laughs> I mean, the number eight. <laughs> oh. Carrie Fisher at her most adorable in that movie. Yeah, we're trying to murder people. Yeah. Carrie Sorry. Fisher. Yep. Okay. Yep. At yeah. her most adorable. I stand by that statement. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so, what is a movie that we almost certainly have not seen 
that is just as astonishing to you that we've not seen it? Uh, man, I so don't... We're, look, we're looking for, like, adolescent classics, like, 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 like movies that, like, you were, like, really, like, into when you were in, like, maybe high school that your friends like were into. Like, anybody your age, you could make a reference from this movie, and, th- and, and, and you could be fairly confident that they're going to get the reference. Uh, see, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a big film guy, is yeah. the thing. Um... The only like he's been out since the talkies. (laughs) (laughs) The the only like uh, standout. This is such a dumb answer. The only standout movie, and I know you've seen this, Brian. uh, I believe is the only movie from from that period of time that I can hone in on. That I always hone in on first is the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. So good. Colon film for theaters, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That opening bit, that opening bit is so good about shutting the hell up and keeping quiet during the movie. The concession that 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 for months afterward, uh, the Alamo Draft House, without any permission whatsoever, just used that, just just played that (laughs) as as shut the hell up. That movie's about to go. Yeah, Uh, yeah, and 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 that's only because I think the novelty of it, right? Like it was only out for a few weeks. It didn't make any money. Right. Kind of stinks if you if you really pay attention to it. <laughs> I can't tell you a single thing about it uh, except for the fact that they played the they made the promise that they were going to play the entire movie mm-hmm. before the release, on and then they they made good on it by playing it in like a little <laughs> one eighth stamp. of the screen <laughs> in the corner <laughs> the entire thing. Yeah, uh, with without subtitles, just like that's the movie mm-hmm. anyway. Um, yeah, and it's it's I don't know it's 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 weird because it's. It really is just an Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie or show episode, but 90 minutes instead of 11. Uh, when's the last time you went to a movie theater? And I know we're. It's, oh, I can it's in the before four times sure. of pandemic, but like, when's the last time you felt like that in your heart? Like, oh my God, I'm at this movie. Like, 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 uh, like, uh, like for, for, for me, iconically as a kid, it was like Rocky Four watching him beat up a Russian dude mm. uh, was like next level. Uh, uh, it might have been the last time I can remember. Maybe would have been Interstellar. I think I saw that here at, at an Alamo, and I especially just remember the big, uh, the very end of the big docking sequence, and the the organ is still droning. And then once it goes away, you 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 have all this negative uh, negative audio of the organ, and it just becomes that much more of like, oh, I've just been listening to an organ drone for the past thirty minutes. Yeah, fully and it's, agreed. It's. Uh, that that might be it. Uh, the only thing that makes it more stark and shocking is the sound of your twelve-year-old daughter sobbing uncontrollably in the theater uh, <laughs> during that ooh. scene. That would have taken me out. I would have like, I, I oh, no, raised no. a card. I, mean, I would have I mean, put a card if, up. If, exactly. If, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If anything, excuse me. Can you just talk to her? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need this to leave. This is her second talk. warning. No, she was feeling it. Like like like. I mean, it, it felt all the mm. more powerful for that yeah. in that it, moment. It either would have been that or Coco. The pic- Pixar's oh, Coco. Yeah. That movie makes me cry but, every but, time. But at the very end, did you go see that with a crew or did you go alone? On my own. <laughs> On your own. Yeah. You're just like, I need a solo Coco well, I, run right now. Because that was during Movie Pass. I oh, that's right. Oh, oh yeah. dude, pre- Remember, uh, children Remember gather Pass? around. There used to be something called Movie Pass. <laughs> it went really and, well, and, and, right? And, uh, <laughs> there, well, it turns out it one went. person bankrupted them, and his name is Bryce Castillo. <laughs> <laughs> I probably probably saw about 30 or 40 movies on their dime. And you got the unlimited popcorn, too, didn't you? No, I, I, I didn't, because that was all before... You're like, more. That, that was before. Uh, <laughs> That's you. That's how you That's sound. Right. More, <laughs> more. More. <laughs> Sir, you could just put up a cart. More. <laughs> more. Uh, n- well, and I, I wouldn't go to Alamo for it. I wouldn't go to Alamo because they passed. didn't have it. Yeah, there. that's right. Or, or, or were you allowed to go anywhere with? I think you pass? could go anywhere. I know Alamo; they would be a little cagey about it if they yeah. thought about it. But I went to a theater that's nearby to me that I could walk to, which was so much I, like it's a shitty. It's not as good. It's not an Alamo, but it's walking. Right? But I can walk to it. I yeah. can go in the middle of the day. There's nobody there because there are so many Alamos in that's, town. Yes. That's that's how I was with the uh, 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 the theater across the street uh yeah. it, now it's got a new name i don't know what it is but previous to that theater opening up the only time that i had seen like for a five-year stretch any movie that wasn't at an alamo mm. was at an amc in a mall and it was because justin sent me this no-nonsense text that said this is your one friend warning to go see 
uh, sorry to bother you. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and, and, and it's like, I trusted him so much that now I, I went. know what I need to do when I leave here today. Oh, oh have you not, have you not seen it? It's great. I think it might, it was on Hulu at some point. I, I, it's I had it queued up for a while and then we just, I wanted to see it with EK. So mm. that was a great summer. Cause it was that in black Panther and blind spotting that all yeah, came out in the right. same, in the same summer. That's right. And I was in Oakland. And so there are all these Oakland movies and, yes. and uh, blind spotting and sorry to bother you shot in Oakland. Uh, Primarily, and so that was that was what those were like. Some of like when you're talking about like times in the theater, yeah, like yeah. Uh, like seeing Black Panther, and it, we saw that in San Francisco. But like, uh, uh, oh, like like seeing seeing Sorry to Bother You in Oakland when it was shot in Oakland man. and about oh, Oakland right. lifestyles. Well, well, no, the 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 San Francisco the San Francisco draft house showing of Black Panther that opens with the title card of Oakland, California. Uh, it, it was like this roof shattering ovation. And then the two uh, uh, ladies who were sitting next to us, who were a couple, uh, it was just, it was a party. It was just like, and it's like the most party that a, especially a draft house, which is very much like a cathedral of, of cinema. I mean, it's, right? ch it's church, right? Yeah. It's like you, you have a moment to chit chat and, and, have if it was church, the pastor was drunk yeah. on, on that night <laughs> because it was fucking wild. It was just people yelling, uh, being so happy about what was happening on screen. The ladies next to us were smoking weed, and then, like, they ran out of weed, and then I lent them my weed, and then they got so high, she just started eating my popcorn. Uh, and then she looked at me, and she was, like, kind of sheepish. Is this and I'm cool? Like, and I'm like, go for it. And then she started eating the popcorn, huh. and then they bought shots. It was the first time that I've ever had shots bought for me in the middle of a movie theater. It was a fun time. That uh, that's a very okay, funny so. image. That's a very funny image that maybe you could write a sketch around of like someone in a movie theater going, round of shots for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Like, God, uh, I wonder if you'd be able to do that at Alamo. No. If you could just Oh, say, maybe on a card? Yeah, card. Shots for anybody who wants them in the theater. Maybe, but then they got to check IDs. Well, and also mm. that's not their jam to walk up and say, excuse me, please stop enjoying the movie. Would you like a shot? <laughs> Somebody's buying shots for everybody in the theater. I wonder though, like if you're like, oh, I want to buy 50 shots for people. I had uh, one experience of watching Malcolm X in the theater when it first came out. Uh -huh. And my girlfriend and I went, and when we got there walking in, we realized we were the only white couple walking in Nearly white oh, people Faye. and so we and so everyone I, else, I would assume you stood up a little taller everybody and you loudly said that's right <laughs> yeah. look how progressive we are no no what no what we did was we walked in and Hark! it was it allies was, approach <laughs> yeah i go I, I go i did my stage whisper where i went I think we're the only white people here. <laughs> and everybody started laughing. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, uh, 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 get out. Get out. The, the end, that, the big, the last minute, like kind of fake out at the end of get out. Yeah. I remember that was watching that in the theater and having just uh, into the, the theater was like packed and just the, the audible tension when the when those flashing lights turn on yeah and then when it's re when it sorry this movie's been out five years now sorry but uh when his security guard friend shows up and it's like this huge like sire everybody's like la like laughing because all of all of that everybody been, everybody bit so hard yeah. right right uh that was another great big A theater moment. moment yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's people who were pointing out, uh, uh, you know, Endgame and stuff like that, which which those are always, especially, you know, we would always go, like, opening night at the at the draft house. That's always just, like, a super jacked crowd that's, mm -hmm. like, yeah. really, really lubricated and ready to watch these superheroes punch each other underneath a gigantic glowing light. The the One of the best moments that we had was episode seven, uh, waiting for it to start. Yeah. And, you know, they had a whole bunch, and this was a draft house, and they had all the different... Shows that were coming up, and there was a lot, including Transformers. Ugh. But, uh, but they were showing all these ones, and everybody was, it was palpable. We were there to watch this movie, and then it finishes with some bombastic thing, and the sound goes down, and I heard it. This little kid just two rows up go, I just want to watch Star Wars. And everybody goes, Oh, it gets quiet. I go, Was 
that my inner voice out loud? Oh. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. Everybody started laughing. Dude, I just want to watch Star the rare, Wars. The rare combo yeah. movie theater <laughs> joke. There was, uh, I forget what movie it was, but there was some preview that played, and it was just like note for note, The Hunger Games or whatever. Uh, but but uh, I, I don't know, pick, pick any of those young adult fiction movies or whatever, mm. and it's like the, <laughs> the thing ends, and in the silence as the words come on screen, somebody goes... <laughs> or whatever the the, <laughs> the, the mocking J sound. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden you see <laughs> hands going up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll be tribute. <laughs> Man, movies. Uh, what a what a cultural binding agent. Mm -hmm. You know, we love movies. You see them, you watch them, you talk about them, <laughs> write about them on the internet. By the way, just like to say, uh, uh, August thirteenth on Amazon, you should be watching Evangelion: Thrice Upon a Time. Ooh. Thank you. Hey, right, so wait, hold on. Does that mean you're you're? Is this an I'm announcement? saying that you should watch it. I'm saying people should uh, watch it. Okay. That, that, you should I watch mean, it I, because for any reason that this audience should watch it? Like, because they'll really like it. It's really good. It's I mean, really it's How would you know that it's really good? Yeah, we because it's not movies. come out. I know, general I know yeah. things. You mentioned you know one specific things. Movie. I know things. And Brett yeah. would be the one to suggest it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, mm. did, didn't you record some voiceover work for one of those projects? I would just like to say that 20... Two years ago... Yeah. yeah. Mm. I play Toji. Okay. okay. Suzuhara and Evangelion, the TV series. Gotcha. Oh, okay. But, Period. But good in sentence. Fantastic sentence. objective fact. Yes. yes that is an yeah. objective fact. All right, audience. So, that is your objective okay. fact of the go week. Go see, see on the, August 13th, go see <laughs> Evangelion Thrice Upon a Time. Because we assume it's good? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No other reason. It's Really good for this specific show. Yeah. Wait, you just said it's really good as yes. though you had seen it. Have you seen it? It's interesting that y'all would say that. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would it be interesting? Just because <laughs> the, the, all of like this turns out to be like a con, where it's like <laughs> for five weeks we've gotten here to trap you into yeah. confessing something. <laughs> just call me Hitler and let's move on. Uh, uh, just, uh, hey, Hitler. <laughs> Just call me Hitler. I may have not done a VO in Evangelion, but I can't say it. So call me Hitler. Oh, call me Hitler. I, that, I picked that, up on that way early. That's yeah. a slow acting capsule on that one. That one takes a minute. That one took me a minute. Um, uh, pour one out. Uh, for the fleets. Oh shit! For the fleet? Shit. No, fleet. no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was about to say this is a brand new rug. <laughs> uh, no, they got rid of fleets earlier today. Fleets? Then that's why they got rid of them. <laughs> we got the fleets, the sweeps, and the creeps. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Michael Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. <laughs> He's bringing them up every time. <laughs> no, uh, Fleetwood Mac's hotter than ever. No, Twitter, Twitter's fleets. Twitter was, killed the fleets, which was their, their uh, Snapchat. Oh, like clone. Wow, that sure didn't happen because I never even heard of it. Yeah, no, they're, they're, as you know, if you haven't attracted the attention of Brian Brushwood and Brett Weaver, then <laughs> yeah. your product obviously you're clearly not connected doesn't matter. to the zeitgeist. I, so. I would say probably someone with a million followers probably should know some of the Twitter features, but, <laughs> but that's on them. I mean, that's <laughs> and, not a new combination. And someone yeah. who has 13, on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when reached for a comment, million Twitter uh, uh, follower <laughs> Brian Brushwood <laughs> said, What? Er, er. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was very funny to watch the death of fleets because everyone just like when fleets came out everyone used it as their opportunity to post something their genitals little I saw very more than zero that, that I said the word genitals, genitals and, and you said, said little. little. Yes. <laughs> Just tiny little genitals. <laughs> yeah. Just tiny little genitals. Oh, look at them. They're so, so small. I, I, I think some people... Like, that, hold on real quick. If that movie was to win an Academy Award, what tiny would little the movie... Genitals? Tiny little genitals. What would that would be about? Tiny little genitals is definitely John Waters. It's like a no penis, way. only smaller. Wait, yeah. winning an Oscar? <laughs> no, that that would be it. It was like, like if John Waters wins an Oscar, It'll be it would for be for a movie penises. called Tiny Little Genitals. And it would be That's about like a surgeon who uh, 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 does reconstructive surgery. 
It might also be like a it's comeback like movie. So it's gen- like bonsai genitals. Like what, what who's, who's like an actor <laughs> that's like, like yes, well regarded but been Stewart's away just... for a while. Um, <laughs> hold on, I know this. Uh, uh, you mean besides the guy from Cobra Kai? Yeah. Like somebody Although, that, actually, now that I think about it, that would work pretty well. Sweet no, it would have to be somebody famous because there would be somebody that like would be dragging John Waters Dan Aykroyd. along. Aykroyd, right? So Dan let's, Aykroyd. Let's say Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd is like, I've been supervising this hospital for 17 years. Yeah. I'm boring and old. Would you like some vodka? It comes from this crystal head. Nobody knows about the crystal head. <laughs> Basically, and it's He's tiny. I was on Rogan. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yes. And then, mm. uh, uh, and then, so and John gross. Waters says, uh, "I'm here for one thing: to reconstruct the genitals of babies." <laughs> what? Ooh. Tiny. That's why it's called tiny, tiny little, little genitals. genitals. That's not where I was thinking. Oh, sorry. We're, 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 look, it's an open pitch. Go ahead. Well, no, that way you. I have... feel like tiny adult genitals. Yes, would be much adult. Safer. Let's stay away from baby genitals. Why are you making that face? Wait. You suggested baby genitals. Because if it was about baby genitals, be about a boy. By the way, by the way, so, you're no... describing pornography. I'm describing you're a describing heroic child story child of somebody yeah. who no, makes. No, no, no. Yeah. This is, no, it's John Waters, so it's like kind of a dark comedy. By the way, do you know that they have small penis competitions? <laughs> Sorry, pause on everything we just talked about. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Do go you not know this? No, no, this is like a thing. The micro, uh, the micro penis, micro like, phallus like, Olympics, and, there, and there's like a guy who uh, it's in Brooklyn, I believe. Yeah, uh, and there's like a guy. I remember seeing Deadspin covered it at some point, and uh, uh, there's like a dude who's like famous for being the tiny penis champion. Yeah, and like his promo shot is him with a gigantic magnifying glass over <laughs> his. Uh, over his junk, his dick isn't out because I guess you have to pay for that. But like, right? Uh, uh, but yeah, no. Apparently, there is a there is a tiny dick competition in Brooklyn. All right. I don't know after COVID. Like, so, I mean, obviously, but, like, uh, like life hasn't fully returned to normal. But uh, re- uh, re- uh, real quick, unless they're really into it and they're anti-maskers. Uh, what are some of the events in the yeah, competition? Because if it's just the size, you could do that. You can, I mean, it doesn't need to be a competition. The way you that's, can just that's show it's up like a reverse in. horse show, it, right? It's <laughs> been it's been uh, many many years since I remember reading this blog post, but uh, uh, the way I remember it is that it's much like a beauty contest mm. where there's like some other maybe they have to answer questions or like be in swimsuits or Wait, something. There's a like talent that. competition. They, they have to yeah. like a, a, like a bodybuilder, yeah. tiny Zorro sure. costume sure. on their wiener. The size is not. Yeah, to yeah. Like look, have some, okay. right. Bart Harley Jarvis. Somebody's got to get a URL for look this. We got to we got to figure this out. There's there is a so tiny like, dick competition every, in Brooklyn. Everyone is scared to Google it. I believe. Would be my guess. Uh, uh, I did see a couple of people ask how they could enter, so that's uh, very brave on sure. everybody in the chat. But so, uh, uh, what is it? Small little genitals. <laughs> tiny they can little only genitals. Point at each other this way. Genitals. Tiny that's, little yeah, genitals. No yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's this would be this. like people with tiny dicks, and and Dan so Aykroyd the lead. It would be about the competition. Sure. It would be and like maybe, best in show. Dan Aykroyd. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, okay, there okay, we go. Okay. Now Worst we're show. fucking cooking. Okay, now we're cooking. So, 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 so it's, it's, about, it's about Dan Aykroyd is trying to promote his tiny little genitals. No, 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 no. No, I like your hospital thing. He is a doctor. Okay. But he's reverse steroids. He's making them smaller. Well, I mean. But steroids. I that yeah, he's no. reverse juicing he's reverse because juicing they're competing. Because in, they're in competing the, yeah. in the tiny dick contest. Okay. He only he's got the shit that can make your tiny dick into like a Even real fucking Is that what regular steroids do? Meanwhile, uh, no, for ball, I don't like, know. Fucking, I don't know steroids. Look at you, juice head. <laughs> Look, all, all I want to know, all I want to know is how do we tie okay, in the competing answer. organization for massive vulvas? Like, like that's the 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 no, nobody will. They're the, no, me on they're this, no, so. no, no, no. They're the bullies, like the the, the kids that like they're camp the Eagle Claw. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they go to camp. It's a lakeside competition, <laughs> yes, and, exactly. and for some reason there are monks on the third shore. And it, that, and, we don't and, know why. It ends with a rap competition. Yes, <laughs> and whoever hey, wins gets to save their community center. That's wing? exactly it's right. There we go. The Gothamist, the smallest penis competition. Wow. <laughs> the smallest penis pageant in Brooklyn. Oh, so is it only the for price people? is two hundred dollars? Price is two hundred dollars. Wait, is it prize or the price? price? I don't or know. Price? Price. Yeah. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Curtis says the monks are just dr- brewing beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, dude, these people are fucked up. Yeah. 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 You see their tiny dicks and large labias? Wow. <laughs> The and they're fuck? like, it's not us to judge. We're just making the beer. 
<laughs> would Stacey you... Gatlin says it's a pr- the prize okay. is two hundred dollars. Two hundred bucks. I would big would, money. If you knew you would. Okay, here's a question for everybody. If you knew you would win that com- competition, the tiniest penis competition. Flat out, that's the abs- the assumption. You, yeah. If you enter, you will win. Yep. Is two hundred dollars enough for you to enter? I mean, at that point, I would say that it's it's really about the spirit of competition. Competition. That it's no. about the motion of the it's, ocean. It's, it, I mean, it's about owning your personal. Yeah. And will you own it for two hundred dollars? Yeah. Look, is that the price of your unit? I mean, I'm sorry, guys. Once or I we guess, I guess maybe in, in these, in these, that's in, all in, I've been thinking about. In these, yeah. oh, like I want to see how big do you think? Be do you careful. think the lathes ever get careful. to the size of like horse testicles careful. or something? Careful. <laughs> God bless them. You know, them. You know they're also. We went person. from a, like a hypothetical thing. We were setting up a funny thing, so, and now you're just talking about gross, gigantic yeah, no. waves. Yeah, it's not. You know, gigantic. I will, ne- waves. I will never. I will never yuck someone else's yum. I, it would be funny in in the scenario that they are across the lake uh, when all of a sudden you you hear what you think is the flapping, flapping. Of, 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 of the, the flapping of, of wind sails. Why is everybody until, applauding? Until, until you take a look up and you see the horrible truth. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everybody applauding? They're not. They're not. Mm, okay. They're not. All right, Justin, <laughs> same question. I mean, and I've heard of Scissor Brothers, but you know, that's I weird. would think it's empowering. Really? If you have a tiny dick, considering we live in a society for which shames tiny dicks, mm-hmm. and you can say, no, I have the tiniest dick, it's and I get $200, Yeah, like, that's just $200. That's like you walking up to an ATM, and it's just spitting out, like, the highest $200. The highest thing that it <laughs> yeah. Even but though you, it goes in your Google search results, right? Like, you, yeah. you would be... Uh, I mean, there's, there's got, uh, there is yeah, definitely, okay. there is something it. very positive to leaning into something that everybody else would have a problem with. Hmm. If you just go, man. Nah, Okay, I have this. Hmm. I got a pebble floating around there. Yeah, like that's what I do. Here, give me my two hundred. I'm a cartwheel on out of here. <laughs> like if you're judging a tiny wiener, here. I would imagine that it's not enough for it to be like short in length and still be like like a button. Uh, but but instead, like you would want it to be proportional and perfectly structured. Like like if you saw a close enough picture of it, you would think that. That's a normal wanger, uh, but 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 Do then you it want turns it to out to be the size, the, the size under- of, of 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 a rice grain or whatever. <laughs> Oh. I would just love that you're like that looks like a normal penis, which is just a great thing to say in general. And then you're like, wait a minute, is that a hair follicle? <laughs> <And> yes, <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's a tiny penis. Which is, which is the fire shockingly... jets divert. Uh, we're looking at balls. Yeah. <laughs> who's who's doing the color commentary for this? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, uh, uh, this know, is Howard Cosell back from the grave. To, so there we are. From uh, uh, season three of. Uh, uh, Toast of London, uh, where they graphically show Toast! his penis. Yes, they, they show they pe- show his a, penis. Wow. Uh, okay. Yes, they full on show his Matt Berry's penis or a stunt penis. Uh, it's the size of a rice grain. <laughs> so you tell me. <laughs> like it takes. Were there a any moment, receipts for two hundred dollars in that? It takes you a moment so. to realize, like, what is the? Oh my god! <laughs> like, like it's that moment. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, ben Franklin says, what about people who have below average peens, but not mm. small enough to be micro? Where's ours, their competition? <laughs> yeah, someone, someone was asking, like, or someone was saying, like, it would be, it would suck to be the second place yeah. in the smallest dick competition. Yeah. Because you don't even get prize that money. That does sound like a joke. <clears throat> this sad motherfucker's second place in the <laughs> smallest dick competition. <laughs> <laughs> that, Actually, that should be the 2021 a, Monopoly card. It yes. Comes, Man, you just <laughs> read place. my mind. Win second That's second place in thing. the smallest $15. Tick competition. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Do you at least get your drinks comped? God, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, well, is there catering be, at the tiniest it may, penis it competition? It may not be the competition. And are they all little it pigs may, in a blanket? It may <laughs> not be an organization that pays for the drinks, but everybody else that's at there going, bro, here. Here. Mm, come on sympathy come on i guess we're i mean i would only imagine that the crowd for that has got to be very positive right it feels like a very affirming yes like if you're going out and yeah. celebrating that then you are trying to affirm like oh no like like shame should not exist in our society let's take a thing that is looked upon shamefully and let's celebrate it so if you're on stage what are you hoping to see the most of single women Bush. <laughs> single men or couples healthy couples 
healthy I don't couples know. I'm, would I'm, be I'm, that. I'm, I'm legit, like, curious, right? Like, I wonder where the demo is. Yeah. Well, mm. also, we invented the sport. <laughs> That's right. Wait, I, I, tiny I, penis? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I it, mean, it's it a exists. Oh, it's a thing. It's a real thing. thing. Yeah. It's a real like event. say, we're all allies. Yeah. I mean, I some people are That's into that. That's what he said when he walked into Malcolm X. <laughs> <laughs> It's exactly the same thing. <laughs> More like <laughs> Malcolm X X L or S. No, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, no. There, there's no right answer. X S. So yeah, that's a fun revelation for today. The tiniest penis competition. Second yeah. week of dick jokes, by the way. Second what? Week. Second yeah. week. Yeah, I don't get that kind of it's oh, I don't think that kind of <laughs> uh, I gotta go back to the control room, but y'all got five minutes. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank uh, you. Uh, five minutes. Um, any suggestions for punishments for today's yes. activity? Yes. Love, love a punishment uh, suggestion. Uh, oh, by the way, when should we break the news about next week? <laughs> should we do it now or should we do it in, in Act Three? Uh, Thank you. So, well, we, so I mean, we can do it both. We, we we definitely talked about it to the patrons and floated the idea. Um, it it looks as though just for grins. Don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna see what it looks like trying to do the show while Justin's out of town. So I'm I'm out of town next Tuesday. We asked the patrons uh, uh, what their thoughts were. Everything was pretty scattered based on the on on the options. So we decided we're gonna try and uh, 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 do something the the most out there thing that we've never done before in the right. history of this show. Not on I mean not since the earliest episodes of BB Live Show. Not any time through NSFW show, not any time through Night Attack, uh, has there been an episode without Brian and Justin. Normally, we've always done. Although we have prepped for that multiple times, and then and, and been afraid it was about to happen. Uh, remember during hacking the system, like we barely made it in time. You barely made uh, it just in yeah. time to see you <laughs> play Star Wars footage with Lady Gaga playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. it was in a, 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 new bit, a new bit called copyright uh, violation. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it will be a great night next Tuesday. Uh, I will not be here, but we do have a guest host, and that is. Oh wait, uh, I thought we were keeping wait. that a surprise. Yeah, I were we? I was asking. I thought you were teeing up to it. We should say it now. No, no, no. Uh, we have we have multiple guests that will be joining us. Look, here's the thing. If Wait, we're not going to say who's doing it. Yeah, of course we're not. I mean, we, we don't want to. We we, we want to put more pressure on this. Number one, it's not confirmed. So that's thought you said it was confirmed. Uh, no. Uh, he said uh, I sent you a screenshot of him saying. No, but then you said it again today. You said him. So we know it's a he. Okay, if it's not confirmed, then we can't do it. I, I, I presume you in the pre-show meeting saying, hey, he's going to be able to do it was it, I saying mean, that, that he's going to be able to do it. That is certainly, like, he has said he'll be able to do it. And the other person has said they'll be able to do sure. it. Sure. Uh, so I repeated those things. But uh, I, I have yet to receive confirmation from any I was under I was under the wrong impression. Parties, yeah. Get ready for a guest host. Yeah. Spoiler alert, it's not me. <laughs> Sign wave. Brian, keeping a secret? What fucking world are we in? Uh, well, you're <laughs> not a guest. You're just on the show. Yeah, I know. They're like, is he the surprise guest? I go, well, if I was a guest, I'd be surprised. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, uh, you might be surprised. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> That's my bad. I feel I feel uh I feel I feel bad. I thought I was I was under the I was under the impression no, that, uh, that was the, that things had advanced from when you sent me that. No, thing. like 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 the last thing we got was yes 100% let me get my person to confirm it and then that's as far as we've gotten. Yeah. See, it's so, not uh, me cuz I don't have a person. Yeah. No. None of us are people. Are you in that movie? What movie? Yeah. yeah. Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> you know, me and Jason Bateman. Are you in Tiny Little Genitals? Tiny Directed little... by John Waters, starring yes. Dan Aykroyd. Bonsai Genitals. By... <laughs> Bonsai Genitals! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I it's going to be weird. I back just for it's that. Good. It's <laughs> going to be it's gonna be really, really weird uh, uh, not being here for a show, and I do feel bad about it, but uh, I think it's going to be a great time. I mean... I would feel I would feel less bad if we weren't over delivering so fucking hard. Yeah. Like we do, we deliver three episodes in one night, and then we do a bonus episode for the patrons. It's like if we've ever earned 
a are, moment to are experiment. Are you patting yourself on the back over there? It seems like you are. Uh, no, sorry. What I meant to do is jerk <laughs> off right in front of you uh, at my own great. Maintain eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Dr. Arnold, why not Skype in like the old times? Because the reason I'm, I don't want to get into why I'm away, but uh, it's the things that, that require my full attention. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Let's, let's just say there's a reason we've been talking about tiny little genitals. Exactly. <laughs> I'm preparing for competition. Yes. So. <laughs> He's got to be in the zone. Uh, oh, wait, Curtis the Rock's going to be in town? That sucks. Oh, well. No, oh, there we go. Yep. Uh, we'll have to figure out how long you're in town, Curtis, and maybe I can see you at some point. <sighs> All right. Uh, uh, Bryce Castillo. Oh, wait, Hello. wait. Hold Green on. Room is ready for we you. Do that, oh. Wait, wait, hold on. Before we do that, did Holding? anybody put anything up, things that I should put in the uh, opening? Has anybody got any, uh, throw oh, some Everybody ideas in up? the chat, run it, run it, I've run it like I've got a few things crazy. written down, but if you, you know, throw it up uh, on there. Don't throw up. I'm saying put it uh, on the, the chat and we'll, uh, I'll pick something out of there. Yeah. Please so that. while that's happening, um, I think, uh, 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 man, life you know what's 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 happening with this thing? It's going crazy. Existence, <laughs> society, it's nuts. <laughs> what's going on? I think I think this is a good time for us to hand things over. No, I'm waiting. <laughs> He's writing shit down in the chat room, but I, like if, if, unless we're just reading off what's going on there, no, I'm no, just no, trying I to fill. It. But he can continue to read it while Bryce talks. <laughs> he can toss over to Bryce at this point. I'll right, take it right, from right, here. Right. Thank hold you on, to hold the on, hold, hold on, hold on. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Bryce, wait a minute. Yeah. What's what's going on, man? Air. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, take it away no, from us. Please. No, no, please, no, please. no, no, no. Thank you to the green room. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, Bryce. You ever thought about food? <laughs> God damn it, yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you to everybody in the green room. Hope you had a good time there. And welcome back to the pre-show. I'm Bryce Castillo, still navigating you through the pre-show. Uh, uh, I mentioned that I would talk a little bit about some of the technical stuff that we did. So we use um, a program around around the office called Voice Meter. Some people are familiar with it. Voice, Voice Meter is really nice. They have a uh, uh, they have a new feature, you know, maybe a year or so. Uh, called uh, VBAN. The what is what is it called? V, VBAN. VB Audio Network. If you if you if you if you know what it, if you know um, about NDI, uh, you know the idea of sending a video and audio feed over the same local network. Uh, that's basically what this is, but just for audio. Uh, we wanted I wanted to put it in place two weeks ago. I want to say I, I've been trying to get it set up for about two weeks, and unfortunately. Hmm, uh, unfortunately, uh, we just I couldn't get it. We like we we couldn't get one of the computers on the network. We were having firewall issues, and uh, and now it's all working. And that sounded pretty good. Uh, still got some tweaking we can do, but uh, but hopefully it sounds a lot better. Thank you everybody for joining us for this pre-show. It is time for a little bit of the birthday morning in our Discord, Discord.greatnight.tv. We have a new channel that we put up last week called the birthday born it's up in the top and uh, i'm gonna read some of the birthdays that happened over the past week including uh shane uh happy birthday to shane uh we also had a, a ghost uh ghost's uh mom the mo mom bot uh her birthday was uh when is that july 28th and their third child's first uh first son their third child's first son's birthday will be tomorrow well uh you know we we don't you know what it's a new, it's a new birthday borner. It's a new rule. Happy birthday to Mombot and the third child's first son tomorrow. With everybody, everybody, thank you. If you want to get your, uh, you or your loved ones, a little bit of a shout out here in the pre-show, uh, join the Discord, discord.greatnet.tv, and post it in the birthday borner. But uh, you know, VBAN, I, I was, I was very, I was just frustrated because I couldn't get the VBAN stuff to. It to, I had it plugged in. I had the RTs all done, and it was, and it was, it, <laughs> the firewall was a very big part of it, of it not working. Um, and so it, it was one of those things where it needed, it needed a couple of hours to solve. It didn't, it needed more than the like hour, hour and a half sometimes that I've been giving myself here for pre great night. And so over the weekend, I came in and, and uh, uh, Roberto helped uh, helped out, uh, a bit with with some of our networking stuff. 
um and now it's it's working right as rain uh so i i i I, th I think I would recommend it. We're going to have to see what it looks like over, you know, the next few weeks of, of using it. Uh, but I thought it, I thought it sounded, I thought, I thought it sounded a lot better. Uh, G James B says, uh, I haven't been able to get NDI to work. I like, would like to get it working for church streaming. Oh, yeah. You know, that's a, that, that, that's a good point. You know, uh, it, it's NDI. I have found that NDI is fine. Um, I know that they a, a couple of months ago re they updated the NDI protocol or something. This is not free advertising. Um, they updated the NDI thing, but, but yeah, I found that NDI is usually we use NDI with Skype here, especially with uh, you know cord killers and, and weird things, um, because it gives us a direct source from from Skype instead of having to capture a window. And uh, it, but in my experience, it's similar to what what you said, CC Auto. That the audio is usually pretty good, and the video is not always good. You kind of need you have to make sure you got a good network for it. I think you know you have to make sure you're on the exact same network, not bridged, not through a bunch of switches and stuff. Um, that that tends to help out a little bit. But um, but yeah, and yeah, it's not always not always easy. It is a lot of bits, Falcon. The other thing about it that people don't know or maybe don't uh, think about is it has a high CPU load. Usually, usually a little a little intensive to pull in so much um, so much data. Open by says run an Ethernet line to the green room. Uh, that's very nice advice, but we have that room wired up actually. So I don't I actually don't know what the point of that advice is, but thank you for uh I'm trying to offer some tech support um so yeah so uh let's see where are we at we have four, about four minutes um some other things that have happened uh cord killers great cord killers yesterday uh if you're not following us we're doing spoiler in time next week we're going to cover the finale of the nbc uh tv series hannibal uh, I watched it last night or I watched it right after cord killers I was like I gotta I just gotta I just gotta see it I, I just gotta see it, please, because we've been we've been waiting so long. We, we even doubled up um, on this third season. It would have been it would have been not fun. I mean, if you've heard spoiler time, you know that the guys have some quab some quabbles, quibbles, quibbles, quibble quabbles. What is it? Quabbles? Anybody? Quibbles? Quibbles? I'm here. I'm told it's quibbles. Uh, uh, the guys have some little quibbles about about it, and it's it, it is goofy. Uh, having watched the finale, I can agree with them. It's a silly, goofy show. It's a silly, goofy show. Uh, Wanyam says, should I watch that episode if I'm not watching any of the rest of the show? Of Hannibal? Uh, it might, it might be weird. I don't want to spoil it. I, I just, it's a very old show, and I just spoiled a bunch of movies in there, but, um, we're watching it now. And, um, so, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, um, but I think it would be tough to jump in. I don't know, they have it previously on for Hannibal. So anyway, we're doing that, and then when that finishes up next week, uh, or after that finishes up, I believe, um, uh, we will jump on to... Is it what we do in the shadows that's coming up uh, soon? Uh, the, the new season of that, I believe. I'm, I'm actually going to pull up our doc here and just see. But, and we're still watching um, Ted Lasso and that other damn. What is that other dang show? Oh, Rick and Morty. Uh, Lower Decks. That's it. Star Trek Lower Decks. Uh, what we do in the shadows is in, uh, in about another month. But yeah, um, you know, it's, it's a great time to get in um, on Spoiler in Time, even if you just listen to the free feed. Um, Supernova Girl says, I have to write into Cord Killers after listening to this week's episode. Oh, I'd love to know why. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, we we always love getting getting emails on, on, on Cord Killers. Supernova Girl says, Lower Decks and What If is coming? Oh, when is What If? Hold on, I'm going to type in, when is What If into Google? What do you think Google will tell me? Uh, oh, it actually told me. Okay, August 11th. Oh, that's next week. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I don't know what we're going to do with that, then. Because what if, what if it's supposed to be good, too, but we really love Star Trek Lower Decks? Maybe, I don't know. May I think it'll be lower. I mean, we've had Lower Decks on the on the calendar for, for a longer, and also... Disney's got, Disney Plus has gotten their fair share of shows, I believe. Ah, the, the caravan is making their way here into the studio. Perfect. Got two beers. We've got a, got a two beer count, everybody. 
Oh. I'm watching the shit out. Am I, I got two beers right now. You've got two beers right two now. Two beers. Now, what does that mean, watching the shit out? Watch your shit out. Watch it out? Watch it out. With your shit right now? Are you watching it? Well, then maybe you should think about it. Okay, I would consider it. Yeah, watch the shit I out. Would consider this, this is some like either 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 uncle shit or dad shit happening. <laughs> like like there, there's definitely some reliving of a moment happening. I don't I'm know what saying. any of this fundamental discommunication. No, I'm just saying. I, yeah. I apologize. First, uh, I was just saying, watch the shit out. <laughs> right? <laughs> what? You don't watch. Watch out. All right. Uh, I, Ex e explain like I'm five. Like sure. I'm the Reddit. All right, so you know what you have uh, uh, eyes? <laughs> you're using them to watch stuff, right? Because, All right, then yeah. there's like the shit. The shit. Self explanatory. <laughs> well, and right. then you do, do it so this? much you're do watching it, it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, watch the shit out. Watch it. Okay. That's now I'm getting fucking fired up again. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, uh, hey, look at that. It's the top of the hour, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on another fabulous Great Night pre-show. Uh, we're going to see if everybody's in their positions. Almost. Almost, almost. almost. We've got, we got a lot of people. We've got, we got a few more folks helping us around. Ah, there we go. We've also got some people in the audience, uh, some friends and family. So that is uh, fantastic. We'll give everybody a chance to settle in. Um, everybody, make sure your phones are on vibrate. That helps out quite a bit. Um, Check your check your watch, watch uh, and and and, and simply watch your shit out is what I'm I'm being told. The shit, the shit, the shit, the shit. The shit. The shit. your shit, the shit. Watch the shit out, please. There you go. Um, and <laughs> apologies to Rob's Robinson, a first time chatter who says, "Please stop saying shit. I'm out of toilet paper." So <laughs> thank you for that, Rob's. Uh, Brett, do me a favor. Talk into that microphone for me. Now try talking into that microphone for me. Okay. Hey, now. there he is. Okay. Perfect. Love it. All right. <laughs> uh, Brett, you good? I'm good. Brian, you good? Yo. Justin, you good? Yeah. Uh, Annalisa, you good? Corey? And all of the audience? Yay! My wife's coming in late. <laughs> Thankfully, they, it's it's cool if she comes in late. She's, we've got yeah, things. she's got things. Um, alrighty. Well, uh, I'm gonna take it over to the graphic. I'm gonna click a couple of buttons. Brett, I'm gonna count you in. How's that sound? I'm assuming it sounds good. All right. Oh, and uh, uh, can we get to, can we get our um, insert camera? Can we get that to the wide shot, please? That we were uh, looking to start off on, and then. The yeah, wide can shot. We, can where, we have that zoom out to yeah, the pull, uh, open, pull the shot. open shot? Please. Yeah, all the way out to where it gets the. Uh, yay for one. Yeah, it's not all the way zoomed out. It's a. It's a just a. Touch it's zoomed out to where it frames the the diamond. Uh, there you go. We want to we want to fill the whole frame with the blue curtain. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then a little to the right. There we go. Oh, look at that. Love yay. it. All right. Thank you very much. Just keep that shot right there. All righty, everybody. Let's do the show. 